hello how are you hope everybody is doing very very well i would like to present online lecture on victorian age 19th century english literature during this grave situation most of the educational institutions universities and the government of india are prepared to face the challenge and threat that has posed by the growing pandemic of covid 19 the coronavirus with the active support of the people of india and you all we have been able to contain the spread of the virus in our country very very well the most important factor in the preventing the spread of the virus locally is to empower the citizens with the right information and taking precautions as per the advisories being issued by the government of india and government of maharashtra friends and my dear colleagues it is just a revision lecture where i would like to give my uh, brief explanation i know that you have already studied very well for the ensuing examinations but still i just wanted to revise with my own uh, efforts the background of victorian age everybody knows it started from 1837 to 1901 first aspect of the background of uh, uh, victorian age deals with the effects of uh, industrial revolution industrial revolution is closely linked to a number of innovations beginning in the second half of the 18th century by the end of the 18th century the following gains had been made in modernization and technical developments that we have been witnessed say for example in the fields and in the sectors like textiles textiles mechanized cotton spinning powered by steam or water power increased the output of the product the power looms have come and the increase output by the workers and the cotton gin increased productivity of removing seeds from cotton large gains in productivity also occurred in the spinning and weaving of wool and other cotton material steam power also has been witnessed a large uh, uh, way and that increased uh, the fuel capacity also and uh, uh, output the power loom increased the output of the workers here the motions of uh, using power a uh, steam power also can be seen iron making also is there iron making is very important factor for every uh, industry and also inventions of machine tools tools are very necessary during this uh, the during this uh, uh, industrial revolution uh, invention of uh, machine tools uh, are uh, uh, like uh, screw cutting machines uh, cylinder boring machines milling uh, machines machine tools uh, made of precision metal parts etc in the same background of victorian age we can see uh, the middle class complacency uh, and the rise of uh, the working class working class you are aware that their conflicts class classification class struggle class warfare is the political tensions which has created economic problems labor violence direct and indirect 
so many uh, disturbance has been witnessed in this uh, uh, period. Most of, most of the deaths from poverty and starvation also that has seen during this period. Most of the illness of the workers because their conditions were not taken things and not taken properly. Economic problems as such and uh, threat of unemployment also and the withdrawal of investments from the capital uh, and investors by the way of political uncertainty all that has been witnessed in this Victorian age. Now we can talk a little bit uh, uh, age of science, age of faith and doubt also during Victorian period. As uh, uh, as, as supported uh, with compatibility of some interpretation of uh, uh, religion with science. Says so science and religion has its uh, own importance. Uh, science may not have that much uh, faith in religion, so religious people also may not show that much uh, uh, faith in it. In the science and philosophy religion, a symposium was organized. In that conference, uh, the name of the conference is Science, Philosophy and Religion. Uh, in their relations to the democratic way of life, which was held in uh, New York in, 19, in 1941, in that conference, Einstein expressed his views as a religious person is devoted in the sense that he has no doubt of the significance and loftiness of those super personal objects, <coughs> which neither require nor capable of rational foundation. They exist with the same necessity and uh, matter of factness as he himself. In this sense, religion is the age-old endeavor of a mankind to become clearly and completely consciousness, consciousness of uh, these uh, values and goals. Uh, and uh, constantly to strengthen the extent of its effects. According to science, religion is something which is which comes uh, from subconsciousness. Let us uh, have to throw some light on survey of literature during this period. How uh, novels, poetry, prose, fictions, all how it has been came out, how it became popular. Mostly we can see in Victorian age the novel has become the leading literary genre in English. Another important factor is that the number of women writers who were very, very successful in the 19th century. At the beginning of this century, most of the novels were published in different volumes. However, monthly serialization was reviewed with the publication of Charles Dickens' Pigwick Papers in 20 parts between April 1836 and November 1837. There was a huge demand for each episode to introduce some work new element, with new elements, whether it was a plot twist or a new character, so as to maintain the reader's interest during the said period. Let me briefly 
discuss what exactly we have to study the concept in this Victorian period and in the uh, during the uh, during the 19th century 19th century uh, literature in English first uh, concept is uh, utilitarianism utilitarianism was introduced by Jeremy Bentham the founder of utilitarianism very well described utility as that property in any object where by it ends to produce benefit advantage pleasure good or happiness or in other words sometime to prevent the happening of mischief pain evil or unhappiness to the party whose interest is considered utilitarianism is a version of consequentialism which states clearly that the consequences of any action are the only standard of right and wrong unlike other forms of consequentialism such as egoism and altruism utilitarianism considers that all that interest of all the humans are equal very briefly because i have to i have to see the time also i know the concentration of the students and my dear friends we may not have that much of concentration to keep to listen but i summarize it it's just a revision lecture i will just jump to darwinism what charles darwin's theory says all about survival of the fittest we the humans have come from the apes this theology biological evolution developed by english naturalist charles darwin and supported by others stating that all species of organism are rise and develop through the natural selection of small inherited variations that increases the individual ability to compete survive and reproduce this is the fundamental factors also darwin's theory originally includes the broad concepts of transmutation of species of evolution which gained general scientific acceptance after darwin published on the origin of species in 1859 including concepts which predated darwin's theories english bio biologist thomas henry hexley coined the term darwinism in april 1860 with his knowledge of perception now i would like to speak a little bit on victorian concept of morality morality values human values during victorian period is distillation of the moral views of the middle class in 19th century britain and in the era of victorian victorian values emerged in all classes and reached all facets of victorian living the values of the period which can be classed as religion morality industrial work industrial ethics 
and the personal improvement which took to the roots of Victorian morality. Morality values that has been a big subject, a vast criticism, appreciation, so many things and can be discussed later also. Let me uh, talk about aesthetism. Aesthetism is an intellectual and art movement supported by a group of uh, painters, poets, with political, social themes for literature. Even music also, fine arts also. This means that uh, the, the particular movement focused more on being beautiful rather than having a deeper uh, meaning, art for art's sake. It was particularly prominent in Europe during the late 19th century, supported by notable figures such as Walter Pater, Oscar Wilde, but more com contemporary critics were also associated with this movement. What exactly pre-Raphaelites, pre raphael Lightism, a group of again, a group of English painters, poets, critics, musicians, founded in 1848 by William Holman Hunt, John Everett Millet, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, William Michael Rossetti, who formed as a group the group member called as Brotherhood, as Brotherhood. This modeled in a part of the Nazarene movement. The Brotherhood was only ever a loose association and their uh, principles were shared by other artists of the time, including Arthur Hughes. Later, uh, many followers of the principles of the Brotherhood included Edward Byrne, Jones William Morris, and John William Waterhouse. The group sought a return to the abundant detail in tense colors and complex composition of Quattrocento Italian art. They rejected what they regarded as intense colors and complex of their approach. Approach was adopted by mannerists artist who succeeded Raphael. Let me introduce you the Oxford movement. Oxford movement was a movement highly regarded, high church member of church members of England which eventually developed into Anglo-Catholicism. The movement whose original devotees were mostly associated with the University of Oxford. Those who argued for the reinstatement of some older Christian traditions of faith and their inclusion into Anglican liturgy and theology. The thought of Anglicanism as one of the three branches of 
the one holy, catholic and apostolic Christian church by the 1840s many participants decided that the Anglican church lacked grace and that made most of them to get convert themselves into Roman Catholicism. Friends, let me talk about uh, the another concept we have Bildung's Roman. Bildung's Roman, really very famous uh, part of Victorian age. It is a literary genre again that focuses on the psychological and moral growth of protagonist character from birth to the youth and adulthood which comes age to age stage to grow in which a character changes its place for example from childhood to manhood for example the novels prescribed for our study David Copperfield other uh, other one is also their great expectations from Charles Dickens Bildung's Roman clearly states the term comes from German word Bildung. Bildung is nothing but education in German language and Roman means a novel what you study. It is quite clear and can thus one can easily translate into English as a novel of formation education culture which that comes and develops from age to age wise growth. Let me discuss David Copperfield the novel by Charles Dickens. The novel full title is The Personal History of Adve the Personal History Adventures Experiences and Observation of David Copperfield, younger of Blunderstone, rookie. It was published as a serial in 1849 to 50, and later it was a book in 1950s. The novel features the character you all know David Copperfield and is written in the first person as a description of his life from birth to childhood and middle age with we, with this uh, uh, with all his own experiences adventures and numerous friends enemies that he met during all his journey in this novel. It is his personal journey of change and growth from infancy to maturity. Infancy, from birth, we know, we, we all know that. He born, David born to his mother after the death of his father six months later he was born as people enter and live like his life also Charles Dickens wrote this great novel without an outline unlike 
the way he wrote Dombe and Son. The previous novel he wrote chapter wise after the chapters were completed some aspects he included in the story the profession of the character david copperfield as a writer and the sad fate of dora were not decided by dickens until the serial publications were underway at the first instance the work is modeled in the loose and somewhat uh, incoherent way of personal histories it is autobiography like for uh, charles dickens it made him to put his own life so that the readers can understand the troubles or turmoils problems that he himself experienced in his childhood the childhood in victorian england friends i would like to discuss this in unit 3 where we have this novel graphically vividly i will try to make something so that you can understand easily i'm just discussing the unit 1 the concepts the background little bit information with regard to victorian age i think i will end my lecture with this in the second lecture i will focus on um, unit 2 to discuss and present a simple lecture on it and that may be helpful to you later i actually i wanted to divide my lecture into unit wise so that unit 1 unit 2 and unit 3 there must to be properly so that you can also understand with your own perception uh thank you for being with me listening and encouraging me to produce such videos in future also this is my first experiment hope i am trying to do my uh, level best i hope i can improve in future also thank you so much for being with me all this time it is allotted this lecture for 30 minutes i must comprise to this 30 minutes so that uh, any of friends for the first time in the history of earth planet today we are witnessing this grave situation what is happening covid 19 the corona virus some hope sometime blessings in disguise whatever happens so far so far and so far we have been giving lot of trouble to the mother earth planet earth time has come somehow or the other we must bear the pain difficulties will go days will come definitely there will be a good time for everybody all of us again we will be normal mother nature is just testing us it is a testing time mother earth nature nature is my guide philosopher friend friend guide and philosopher according to william wordsworth we have to understand it thank you friends again i am 
thanking you for being with me see you in the next video a unique two where i can discuss the things there bye bye